welcome back to the channel. Welcome back. Today we're going to push the boat out a little bit more than we normally do. We're going to try and do something a little bit more special and today we're going to be cooking up this. And we're going to be making some sushi. We're going to be making a spider roll. A spicy salmon roll. And maybe a couple of extras along the way. We'll see see what we end up with. Right, okay. So, to start with, you need to wash your rice thoroughly. Sushi, the rice is the most important thing. So, if the rice sucks, your sushi sucks. So you get these bags, usually about 500 grams, so for half of that, 250 grams. Okay, we've got to wash it thoroughly. Try and wash all the starch off. Now we need to put a pan of water on to boil to start cooking the rice. So we've got to wash wash a fair amount of the starch off of the rice before you start cooking. And you achieve this by just washing it three or four times, something like that. Give it a few minutes between each time to let the water soak into it a tiny bit. Then just give it a good swirl through. And just let it rest for a minute or two in between. Right, so we'll make make a little dressing, quick little well, dressing, I don't know, like a dip to go with it quickly. So, so we get a single spring onion, top and tail it. And then we split it end to end. Like that. Like that. And then we top that up with light soy sauce. A tiny pinch of lemon. and a few drips of sesame oil. Just a few. Give that a little stir up. Right, let that infuse now. For, I don't know, the time it takes you to cook your sushi. Let the onion flavour and all the other flavours melt together a bit. Okay, now we're going to make a quick batter. Because we're going to batter the soft shell crab. So, just get self raising for that. And a little bit of as cold a water as you can possibly get. A little bit of cold water in there. Brilliant. Right, that should still be fine. <laughs> Whip it until it's smooth. Right, and when when you're making batter, especially for things like this, when you want it light and crispy. You only want it to literally just coat like that, anything thicker, and it'll just end up a thick, gloopy mess, and it'll just taste horrible. So, nice and runny and thin, and that'll give you a nice crisp bat. Right, let's wash this rice off for the last time. So now that we've got that made up, we're gonna put it in the fridge, just for a minute, because basically the the colder the batter is, the better it reacts when you put it in the hot oil. The crisper, the colder the batter is, the crisper the batter will be when it's cooked. So chilling it down, even making it with ice water, or even crushed ice, 
at times can give you a really crisp batter. So the colder the batter. Right now we put this on hot. Okay, the rice. We're gonna put this in here to boil. No need to put it into boiling water. It will. Uh, it kind of likes to settle and come to the boil on its own. Right. right now, you bring that to the boil and cook that. Once it's brought to the boil, cook that for seven minutes. This is what I've found. Everywhere I've read seems to do it differently. But the way I've found to do my rice is you bring that to the bowl, cook it for seven minutes on a rolling bowl like you would with normal rice. Then you take it off, give it a quick wash, then put it back on with a sieve, covered, and steam it for another seven to ten minutes. And the starch that's left after you've washed it off that one time seems to be enough to bind it together, in my opinion. And that's what I do. So I'll show you my technique. Right in the middle of the week, we went to Stroud and managed to get a session in there. So here it is. lose my head <laughs> if it wasn't apparently screwed on. Right, okay, this has come to the boil now. Don't want it boiling too savagely. So we'll turn that down and just let that simmer off for a minute. And we'll put that on for seven minutes. Okay, right, we're back. It's been seven minutes. And...
seems pretty good to me. So I'm going to leave it at that. We're going to get this out onto a plate as quick as possible. Stop it from cooking. It's going to be sticky. Right, now we've got to make some seasoning for the rice. So we get a cup, called Spotty and Faithful, and we need, right, and we need two teaspoons of sugar, a good tablespoon's worth of rice wine vinegar, and a little pinch of salt. And that is your basic sushi rice seasoning. So we get that onto this now. Right, and we get that mixed in. It almost lubricates the rice, stops it from sticking together. But it will make it more sticky. Now, when you see this, if you look, come here. Right, you can see how glossy and shiny it's gone now. That's what you're looking for. The gloss and the shine, that's the stickiness. That's what's going to hold it together. And you want it to cool down quickly now. And as it cools, it's just going to get stickier and stickier. And it'll be ready in about five or ten minutes to start rolling up some sushi. I'm going to get some oil on the go while this is cooling down. And we're going to cook up Mr. Soft Shell Crab. Lovely little beast. Right, we've got a little bit of sulfur and flour. Put him on it as he is. And dry him out a bit so that the batter will stick. Okay, so we've got the chilled batter out of the fridge. And now we're going to put. Uh, I'm going to put Mr. Crab in the fryer. Right, so you can see the, the heavy frying sound has eased off. Generally that means that it's cooked. This is the little bad boy. So a little plate with some paper on it. There is the little bad boy. So we'll leave him to chill off just for a second. And let's get building some sushi. And put sheet. Put a sheet of cling film down on top of that. Okay, here we've got an oil sheet. Right, so you pick up some rice. We spread. You need to have a bowl of water to hand to keep your fingers from getting too sticky. So we've pushed all that out. Now we get some sesame seeds. Uh, sprinkle a few sesame seeds on top and then confidently flip it over and now so you get some cucumber running through the centre single strip of spring onion Now we put the spicy crayfish mixture in the middle. Okay. And a bit. So got a bit of avocado. Just a few flecks. Okay. 
Good trick, whenever you're rolling out sushi, is to put a sheet of cellophane over the top. And that way when you cut it, you've got less chance of it separating up and breaking apart. Okay. There we go. Right, now we're going to do the spider roll. Okay, so same technique. Spread out the rice. Chuck on some sesame seeds. One motion, confident ish. Right. So, a few bits of cucumber, a couple of sprigs of onion. Now we're going with our soft shell crab. Cut into through the middle. Lovely. Lovely tender crab. Now we roll this little baby up. Right, so make sure the blade is nice and wet so it doesn't get sticky in the grip. Four fingers either side I find because it still moves quite a lot. Quick, confident. Make sure your blade is nice and wet. Now we're going to form some nigiri, nigiri, I'm not sure exactly, but that's what we're going to do. And that is basically just these compressed cubes of rice. Okay, so we have a little bit of wasabi, just on half of them. Smoked salmon. Get some really good quality smoked salmon, otherwise there's no point. You definitely want it dry and not as oily, not the cheap, really oily smoked salmon. That's not cool. Okay, well that's my finished sushi platter. We've got the spider roll, we've got my take on a California roll, and we've got some salmon nigiri. And we have some caviar to go with it as well. I'm gonna have a try and tuck in. See, I would be doing this with a brush. But I can't find my brush. So we take a little bit of that. And I've got to use my fingers because I can't find any chopsticks. Hmm. Not bad. When you get ginger with your sushi, a lot of people think that this is to put on your sushi 
to add as an extra little bit of a topping or something like this. This is actually to cleanse your palate between the different flavours of sushi that you have. Hmm. Well, there you go. Let's try a bit of soft shell crab. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's not as hard as it looks. Give it a go yourself. It's fun and people love it. So yeah, give it a go. It doesn't have to all be raw. It can be if you want it to be. You can make it whatever you want. So give it a go and have fun with it. Hope you enjoyed that one. If you like that, subscribe. There'll be another video soon. Oh, that was worth the proof, but I thought I was going to land with my ass on that.